Hi everyone, welcome to Nerex channel. In the previous video, I explained how we can use the Modbus slave on Nerex. And today, I'll explain how we can use Modbus master on Nerex to communicate with some Modbus slave. In this first video, I will create a Modbus uh, slave in the computer and I will try to communicate with it. And in the next video, I will use some real uh, Modbus slave and I will communicate with this external Modbus device. Okay, so let's get started. Open the Linux terminal, enter inside Nurex space, Nurex, execute make this clean to clear previous configuration. Okay. Uh, for the Modbus master, we don't have a board, uh, a board config already done, so I will configure it from scratch. And it's better because uh, you will see all the details. So we will start using the uh, standard uh, NS8 board configuration, so STM32F4 Discover. NSH. Then we can execute make menu config. Enter inside system type STM32 peripheral support. And we need we need to enable the usearch one. Let's find it here. Okay, this one. And now we need to define that uh, that usart one will be um, RS485 uh, device. So we exit and go to uh, usart configuration, and we enable usart485 on usart one. Exit. Exit again, enter inside device drivers, go to serial drive configuration. Uh, we need to enable the term IO. Uh, in fact, term IO is not used yet, but uh, there is um, a speed T variable or definition that is. Uh, use it on free modbus. If you don't en enable the term IOs, uh, it will report some error during the modbus comp compilation, the free modbus compilation. So enable it. And here in the user to one configuration, we change the baud height for 38, 400, and we need to change the parity setting to even parity is the number two. And that's it for the user configuration. Now we can exit, exit again, and exit and go to application configuration. Enter inside free mode bus, enable free mode bus, and enable Modbus master support via free Modbus. We are using the RTU master. So if you want to use other, we can use uh, ASCII tool for, for example. And currently we have callback only for the road, the holding, holding register. Uh, for the others, we need to implement in the uh, in the master example. So currently we will disable all these ones. If you enable it, uh, it will report some error and then you need to create the callback in the Modbus master example. It's easy to do, but it's not uh, implemented in, the, in this example. So only enable uh, read uh, holding register functions. Okay, now we can go to examples, 
and enable the modules master example this one okay the configuration is already correct now we can exit exit again and finally exit exit and save so let you compile it very good it compiled correctly now we can flash the nerdx.bin inside the stm32 discovery board so let you execute the open ocd command to do it okay we flash the firmware inside the board now we can run minicon reset the board and let's see if we have the two um, serial ports inside the slash dev okay we have the tty uh, s0 and tty s1 let's see if the modbus master example is here okay modbus master ex example is here and now we need to run an application to simulate the modbus slave in the computer so we are we need to open new terminal i have a command here this one uh, i'll put the link for download this uh, modbus slave application in the video description so let's run it okay it's waiting for communication now we we are going to run modbus master uh, it is important to say we are using um, a USB to Modbus adapter. Uh, if you don't know about it yet, please watch the previous video. Okay, let's run the Modbus master example. Very good. It's sending 100 commands and receiving back the return from the, from the application. In the next video, I will explain how we can use the external Modbus uh, slave device. Uh, so, if you are not subscribed to the Nerdx channel yet, please subscribe and click in the bell icon to receive notifications when I post a new video. See you. Bye bye.